Okay, I've got a couple fat fighting tips for you today. The whole thing is, is uh, you know, everybody just wants to get in better shape, and and one of the easiest things you can do is is to to actually do your workout in the morning. You know, studies have shown that doing aerobic exercise first thing in the morning um, is more effective for burning fat than um, later in the day. So if you're going to go for a run or whatever you're going to do throughout the day, make sure you try to do it in the morning. Um, you know, it's like you you know you've had an overnight fast. You you don't because you don't eat while you're sleeping. Hopefully, anyway, um, your blood sugar levels are low, and as as are your carbohydrates. So just you know, make sure that you know when you wake up in the morning, you go for a run or you know do some do some sort of cardio. That'll make a huge difference. Uh, the next thing is, is don't starve yourself. You know, reducing your calorie, uh, you know, uh, too much actually shuts off your uh, metabolism. And when you shut off your metabolism, then your your body goes to hoarding calories, basically, you know, where it doesn't want to get rid of, you know, your current, you know, the calories that are in your body. So make sure that you eat and you you're taking enough calories throughout the day. Um, there's lots of different guides on how many calories you should take in, um, but it's like you, you can always email me and I'll answer you and give you a, give you a way to you know get it um, to make sure that you're taking in enough um, calories. Build more muscle. If you if you build more muscle, muscle in order to survive is unlike fat in that it needs to have calories every day in order to survive. So building up muscle and putting on, you know, 10 pounds of muscle is going to increase the amount of calories that you you burn throughout the day. And I mean, and this is a big thing. The other thing is, is it helps to boost your metabolism. You know, so the more muscles you have, the more calories that you're going to burn um, at your current weight. If you weigh 200 pounds and you've got 20% body fat, or if you're 200 pounds and you have 10% body fat, the 10% body fat guy burns a lot less calorie, or burns a lot more calories throughout the day. Um, another thing is, is you can, you know, and this is, you know, this is a personal thing, but caffeine can help you burn fat. I personally don't really um, use caffeine type workouts uh, when, when you're working out, but, you know, scientific studies have shown that, you know, taking in caffeine before you work out uh, can help you burn more calories. Um, watch your calories at night. You know, uh, taking in a lot of calories right before you go to sleep uh, tends to make you fatter, uh, unfortunately. Make sure that you have a cheat meal. A cheat meal, a cheat day, something on that line. If you're super, super strict and you're like, you know, counting your calories every day and you're eating perfect throughout the week, um, having a cheat day is, is one thing. If you're moderately good throughout the week, uh, having a cheat meal, you know, which is what I usually do because I never eat perfect. Uh, but having one cheat meal a, meat where, um, a week where you go out and you eat pizza or whatever it is that you want to eat and you take in a bunch of calories during that is actually good for you. A, it's going to help to boost your metabolism and make it so that you can, uh, you know, so that you can keep eating and so that you're, st you know, so that it doesn't get, so your metabolism doesn't, you know, stop going up, you know, let's see, you know, or stop, what am I trying to say? Like basically so that your, your, your metabolism stops, you know, is a lot of people, once they stop uh, eating, their metabolism crashes. So this helps to keep it, keep it burning and et cetera. Um, you know, the other thing is, is, you know, make sure that you're on this, you know, it's like a lot of people, you know, they, they cut weight, you know, two days a week, you know, you have to be on this seven days a week and before you can remember, before you can actually stop doing this. So make sure that you, you keep doing these things, uh, you know, um, get on, you know, figure out how many calories a week. Uh, or how many calories a day that you need. For example, me, if I'm going to cut weight, I'm going to take and put my calories around 1,700 calories a day. And I will start losing about 2 pounds a week. You know, I'm a 200-pound, 5'11 guy. 
uh, that's, you know, pretty active. At 1,700 calories, I'll lose about two pounds a week. Um, after I after I do that for a few days where I stay really hard on the schedule, then I don't even pay attention to it much. I just eat at the correct times and about the same amount. And I'm a creature of habit, so, you know, I don't even have to, I know where my calories are without really paying attention too much. Um, and I can lose two pounds a week for, you know, for a long time doing that. Um, you know, getting in a good gym, that's, that's, that's another key thing is, is getting in a good gym, staying around like-minded people, uh, you know, is huge also. So I hope these fat fighting tips help you, you know, in your boot camp. Um, and I wish everybody luck. Thank you.